Hey guys, so I just watched Frozen 2 yesterday with my little brother and I'm here to give you guys another episode of Justin Reviews It because we're gonna review Frozen 2. Yesterday was the first showing of Frozen here in the Philippines. At the mall where we watched it, it was shown in the 3 out of the 4 cinemas available. They really wanted that money. Well, we all know for a fact that Frozen is the top grossing animated film of all time. So any company, any mall would capitalize on that. So Disney really made the sequel out of this film. They actually tried to top Frozen 1 with Frozen 2's visuals, script, the songs, and the story. And I actually think that they did that in this movie. Frozen 2 kept all the original protagonists of Frozen 1. Elsa, Anna, Olaf, Kristoff, and Sven. This sequel is a lot darker than the first one because it focuses more on Elsa's power. They will give you the vibe of mystery. The film will tickle your curiosity to get your attention. That's the total opposite of what I felt when I watched Frozen 1 because Frozen 1 felt like a narration. But this one, Frozen 2 is more like of an adventure because they're looking for an answer in this film rather than just storytelling. Elsa here is acting like the mature one. She's a little bit lost like in the first one because she's looking for the reasons why she has powers, her, her powers roots. And on the other hand, Anna is the more stable one. I think because they have different priorities, like I said, Elsa is looking for the roots of her powers while Anna's priority is like more about their family, the welfare of their family. So yeah, I like this film better story-wise and character-wise, but definitely I like the music in the first one more. Let It Go, Love is an Open Door, and even Do You Wanna Build a Snowman are all trademark songs of the first movie. And for sure, you all remember the lyrics of these songs. Although in this film, they also had powerful song numbers, but I have this feeling that they are patterned with the previous songs of the first film because they have the same vibe. So yeah, obviously the film revolved around Anna and Elsa, but I'm so glad that they gave Olaf and Christoph moments to shine in this film. Olaf will surely make you laugh, right? <laughs> he was given a lot more screen time, so expect lots of banters and side jokes. He is really funny. In my opinion, his innocence is his funniest side. Yeah. On the other hand, I felt like Christoph's part in this film is more justified and more important for the plot in this movie. He is given his own screen time and his own song number, which I like by the way. I also like how he is now portrayed to be really part of their family, of Anna and Elsa's family. I also want to add that I really like the humor now, especially when they always add hand story in every joke. That's really funny. They also improved the visuals. This movie looked better. The CGI sometimes looks so real, especially the water flowing at the end part of the movie. That's so, that's so nice. The fight scenes are better executed. It provided more intensity and darkness to the film. I only think that the end part of the film is anticlimactic. They built up the problem only to be resolved in just a snap of a finger. <laughs> just like Thanos. All intensity and darkness they were staging only to be resolved quickly. That's one of the dumb moments that I see on the film. I did not feel anything at the end of the movie. There's no intensity. They were building so much but they immediately went down without any proper resolution or climax. I felt like they could have climaxed stronger. <laughs> yeah. I don't really want to compare Frozen 1 with Frozen 2 but between the two, I'm gonna compare now. I think I like Frozen 2 better because the storyline is more complicated than the first one because here they use a different type of story rather than finding answer for the one true love. Like all the Disney movies I watch is like that already. Although using the four elements is also a cliche now, but I think Disney has not yet tackled that storyline. So this is new for them. So yeah, that's what I refer to when I say complicated. But to be very honest, I felt like Elsa could be the next avatar <laughs> because she can control the four elements now. Although she just befriended the elements, but yeah, she's like the avatar there. I rate this film 8.5 out of 10. 
because I think they live up to the hype of the movie. Especially this is the sequel of the top grossing animated film of all time. I think they gave Frozen 1 justice. Premise wise, I also like this film. So I thought this one's better. What about you guys? Have you watched this film? And what can you say about the storyline, the movie? Just don't hesitate to comment below and we could discuss the movie or we could exchange ideas. Although this is not a detailed movie review, only what I felt in the spur of the moment. So yeah, don't hesitate to comment your thoughts. So let's go ask Francis about his opinion on this film. So did you like Frozen 2? Yeah, so much? So what can you say about Frozen 2? Huh? Which one is better, Frozen 1 or Frozen 2? Frozen 2. Why? Because that that's nice. It's nice? It's okay. nice. It's nice because of what? There's different songs. Ah, there's different songs. You like the song better? The Frozen 2? I like Frozen 2 songs because I like that. Okay. He really liked Frozen 2. Well, while we were watching, it's always laughing because of Olaf. <laughs> Olaf is really funny. So that's it for our vlog today. Hope you like this vlog and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for future updates. So yeah. Bye guys!